Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, this is Latana Robertson. In this video, I'm going to go in and show you guys how to print your halftone images uh, out on your manual printers. So uh, in order to be able to print halftone images, you're gonna need what's called a RIP software and you're gonna need to be able to convert your photographs over into halftones. Um, Half tones are just little little circular dots. Um, our eyes see a certain way. It's hard for me to explain it, but let's say we can take black and uh, from black, if we change that black into a bunch of different dots, we can get all the different shades of gray. Same thing with uh, yellows and magentas and whatnot. So out of the four colors, cyan, magenta, uh, yellow, and black, we're going to end up getting uh, every color in the rainbow. Now we can do what's called CMYK printing as long as we're printing on a white shirt. Once we get into printing on a colored shirt or a dark, a dark color shirt rather, we're going to do something called simulated process printing and we're going to, this is going to be the first of a series of videos that I'm going to do on uh, half tone printing and different techniques. Before we get started, uh, so let me go ahead and show you how to do this. You can also use the CMYK color palette, but you would have to use Cheyenne, Magenta, Yellow, and Black, and it all has to be at 100% in order to output those. So that kind of limits you to four colors. But if you use that Pantone solid color, you can, uh, Corel will output um, as many, you know, things as you need. So let's go in here and uh, set this up. So I should have two colors. Let's see here. In this video, I'm not going to do a full color, um, full color conversion. We're going to just do a one color half tone. And the next video we'll do, we'll as we process on down and do different videos, we'll get to the uh, full color printing. But we're going to take baby steps here. So. We're going to just click on the image. We're going to click bitmap. We want to convert it to a bitmap. Now, you want this bitmap to be at about 600 uh, DPI. So I'm going to convert it to 600 DPI. I'm going to click grayscale, and we're going to click OK. It's going to convert our image over to a one color grayscale image. Now, I'm going to show you something. Let's go here. Let's let that work a minute. Okay, let's say if we were to go here and try to print this out on our films. I'll show you something. Uh, let's go here and print this out on the 1500. And let's change the preferences. 13 by 19. Okay. Now let's print this in separation. Let's go to our separation. So you see we have we still have black and uh, Pantone, but if we were to print this out like this, you it, it wouldn't come out. Um, it would print, but we wouldn't get, when we went to go burn our films, we wouldn't get a dark enough film positive in order to print this. So what we have to do is we have to convert this image to half tones. So we're here. We've already went in, converted to bitmap, did all the grayscaling. We're going to go back to bitmap and select mode. Going to select a one color, I'm sorry, black and white bitmap. And for this image, uh, a one color half tone image, black and white, you can select 25 degrees. And we're going to print this on a 45 LPI. That's your lines per inch, or what's called your frequency. Uh, so here's the deal: if you're printing, let's say a one color, a one color uh, spot color job, and it's just one color, and it's a spot color, and let's say maybe it has um, half tone image 
involved in it. If it's something that's simple, that doesn't have a lot of shading, you can do that at a 35 LPI. But if you have an image that has a lot of shading, such as this one, we're going to do at least a 45 LPI. Now, you can go up to a 55 LPI on a manual press. I'm going to do this at a 45. I have an excellent burn unit. So my burn unit will burn 55 lines per inch. Uh, if you do this with a 45 on a manual, you're going to get a good output. So I'm going to stick for this job to a 45. So let's click OK. I'm going to show go in and show y'all something in, in a few minutes. Let me uh, kind of zoom in on this image because it looks fuzzy, but it's actually not. So what's happened is now we have all of these little lines. Corel doesn't render this really well, but when we get ready to go and print it, we've got all these little lines here that are going to give us all of the different color tones um, that'll make up our design. So this job now is actually ready to go to print. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go over here. We're going to go to print. And we've already installed Ghost Script. So we're going to look for independent, uh, I'm sorry, device independent PostScript file. That's the printer that you want to select. Click on Preferences, change, change your paper size. I'm using a 13 by 19 over here in Corel for this paper size. So you want to make sure you're using the same size paper. Okay. So we're going to go. Okay. Now let's go back to color and let's select separations. Let's view our separations. We should just have the two colors, which is the Pantone blue and the black. Okay. Now. Our line frequency should be set at 45. That was what I set it at earlier. Let's go into advanced settings. If you, when you, this is how you know that you have a PostScript uh, uh, installed, and you'll. This happens when you install AccuRip and whatnot. You'll see this. Uh, you don't get this in Simple Steps when you uh, install it. I don't believe, but I know that you do get it in AccuRip where you can go in and you're setting your frequencies and angles yourself. So let's go ahead, click on advanced. On advanced, we've got a frequency of 45 and an angle of 45 here. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to change that. And I thought I had already changed it, but I guess I didn't. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to change my angle to 25. Remember I did say I could do a 25 on, on my angle, so I'm going to change that to 25. And uh, let's go ahead and let's do halftone dot in case it's not selected. You can go in and hit dot. Some people like ellipse. It's up to you. You know, you can try them out and see what you like. Some people like round. Some people like dot. I'm just going to leave mine on dot and I'm going to hit OK. Leave this on custom and leave that resolution alone. OK. Click OK. OK. Now let's go to layout. Leave that as in the document. Prepress. If you want registration marks, you can put those registration marks on here. A lot of people will go ahead and design their registration marks in Corel Draw. And if you want to do that, I do have a video. Um, on making your registration marks in Corel Draw, you can search through the uh, YouTube page and find that. If you want the file information uh, up here, if you save, you know, films, you may want that. You can go through the different um, registration marks if you'd like. And I'm just going to leave it on that one and leave all of this off. And I like to mark that to object. And then over here on PostScript, we'll leave that alone. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to tell me to save the file. So I'm going to save this file as text. OK. Now I'm going to go in here. 
and I'm going to hit save. Once I save this file, I'm going to shut this down. I'm just going to minimize Corel and go to my desktop because that's where I have my PostScript file set to go. The first time that you run this, you're going to hit open and open with and then you're going to want to go in and choose the app and you're going to choose ghost view okay so mine's already set for ghost view you're going to know it because you're going to see that little ghost you can register ghost view if it's about 49 bucks or you can just click ok and use it for free so now we've got the ghost view up and here is my image okay Again, like I said, you're not going to see a really, really good rendering. We're just going to go here. We're going to hit print. I'm going to print it to my Epson. Make sure my properties are set. Change this to um, 13 by 19 portrait. And I'm using a WF7510, which is a multi... Uh, function printer which uh, is not the best printer to use but you can get away with using it if you know what you're doing you can lay down a really nice thick black ink in order to do that you would select photo premium glossy okay you don't have to have an all black Mac system to be able to lay down a really good black ink um, I tell people this all the time so I'm gonna hit preview and let's go in here click and we're gonna go here we're gonna leave this on Windows GBI printer okay and just click OK so I'm not gonna actually print this I'm gonna go to my camera phone and show you guys the films and uh, then I will burn the images that actually didn't uh, Let's go here to print again and go to properties. And if we do a print preview, let's change that to landscape because sometimes the uh, with this ghost script, you have to change it over to landscape in order for your um, design on a 13 by 19 inch uh, to come out right. So let's try that again just tried it again and you see it's going sideways but that's fine let's look at the first uh, page which is our spot color or the second page so there we go okay and then we would hit print so I'm not gonna hit print now I'm gonna go in and minimize this I'm gonna show you guys uh, these are attached uh, to the end of this video where I've done the films and the print job the printing I'll probably print this out tomorrow and you'll get to see it let's see I want to go back up here I've created a cheat sheet so if you want a copy of this cheat sheet uh, email me uh, latana at robersonprinting.com or sales at robersonprinting.com ask me for the cheat sheet actually I have we now have a uh, Facebook group called make money uh, printing t-shirts if you shoot me an email or friend uh, me on Facebook Latana Robinson then I will go in and I'll, I'll uh, add you to the group and let you get this cheat sheet but leave it up for a quick second so this is your lines per inch and the different details on your job so a spot color job with some tints 35 lines per inch uh, detailed spot color jobs with lots of shading 45 lines per inch this tells you um, your screen printing angles that you should be at and what everything should be set up at and your process colors uh, your CMYK what we're gonna set those black values I'm sorry those different color values at once we do the full color uh, design and here's the different mesh counts uh, that you need to be using like I said, again, I will uh, go in and I'll post up everything. Oh, let me show you one more thing. So this is for a white shirt. Let's say if we want to do this on a black shirt, that's, a, that's easy. 
we're just going to go up to um, effects and the only thing you have to do is invert it I actually um, oops sorry I can't do it like that I should have took that background off uh, made that transparent I'll go back in but normally if you when we were doing this if you had a went in and just went into um, when you bitmap this let's see do a transparent background hopefully it'll do it now maybe too late uh, that's not good I just converted that up back over to a bitmap after it was already um, done so let me try to step back okay and let's go back and convert it to a bitmap now with the transparent background okay so now let's go in and let's um, transform it, invert the colors. Um, it's not working for me. It's not working for me today. in that 46 okay now let's just go in and try it one more time to invert it okay well that's just not working okay somewhere in there we uh, got that background which we're not supposed to have here let's take that off and try it and let's go here to bitmap and let's invert it okay y'all I have no idea why it's doing that right now but okay so here's the finished product it's not a lot of lighting in here and here are the films that were outputted in go script the top film here this one was for created for the uh, black shirts which I'll put a picture up of the black shirts so that was the film and I don't know if I zoom in you can see the half tones not in an area with really good lighting you can see the half tones there this is the uh, film for the white shirts so on the other one we just in you just invert your design but you can see the half tones. Um, and that's it. That's the uh, that's the film. I'm gonna zoom out. And those are the shirts. You can put them next to each other. Film in the shirts.